Hey guys, it's Dan Henry from puffweb.com, and today we're gonna to be looking at the real debate on safety between a real cigarette and an electronic cigarette. Okay, so there's this big debate going on right now about how, uh, you know, they're saying that, oh, e-cigarettes might not be that safe, and oh, we found carcinogens in them, and you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, these are obviously coming from people and organizations who don't wanna see electronic cigarettes get any further than they are on the consumer market, they're coming from the FDA, and you know, people and, and as I said, organizations that just don't want to see electronic cigarettes succeed, and they want to um, push it away as much as possible. Okay, well let me explain to you the arguments and the facts, and you can make up your mind for yourself. Now, uh, one thing the FDA does not want, and they have literally banned electronic cigarette companies from saying this in their marketing, they cannot say that an electronic cigarette is a safer alternative than a real cigarette. They can't say it. Okay, they'll get in like huge trouble with the FDA and the government and blah, 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 blah. Um, here's the thing. I don't think that's accurate. I think that electronic cigarettes are safer. And I'm gonna tell you the logical reasons why, the facts, and you can decide if you agree with me or not. A real cigarette has 4,000 4, chemicals, 60 of which are known carcinogens, okay? Known. So we already know that the real cigarette, we already know that this is dangerous, okay? There's no question about that. We've known that for a long time. So the real question is, how dangerous, if at all, is an electronic cigarette? Well, an electronic cigarette has three. Three things in it. Not 4,000, three. Three chemicals, okay? Now they took a, a test of both a real cigarette and an electronic cigarette. They took so many puffs off an e-cigarette and so many puffs off a real cigarette, they tested what was in them. They found that there are three chemicals in an electronic cigarette. Three, not 4,000, three. One is nicotine, which, duh, we know that that's in there. It's, you know, it's supposed to be in there. Uh, the second was uh, glycerin, and the third is propylene glycol. Now, the two, um, besides nicotine, the other two are very, very common chemicals that are in many, many things we consume on a daily basis, such as beer, bacon, fish, you know, so these are known to be safe, normal, um, you know, chemicals or compounds that are in normal things we consume every day. The only other thing, which is nicotine, which is an electronic cigarette, that is not necessarily safe. The reason nicotine is not safe is because it does uh, constrict your blood vessels, cause your heart rate to go up, increase your blood pressure. But that is the drug that you are, you know, you are using when you smoke a, uh, a cigarette or an e-cigarette. They do have non-nicotine e-cigarettes, so in that case, I guess you could say, in my opinion anyway, that it would be totally safe. Um, you know, but the deal is that you have three, three chemicals, one is the is 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 nicotine which is considered sort of harmful the other two are fine 4060 of which are harmful now how can you sit here and tell me that this an electronic cigarette is not safer than a real cigarette how can you tell me that okay these are the facts all right these are the facts now if you want to know more about what's in a real cigarette i do have a post on the top 10 nastiest things found in a cigarette. You can check that out and find out more about what's really in that cigarette you're smoking. Um, but in this video, I'm just gonna go over the comparison on safety, okay? Now, um, 
one other thing I'd like to point out is that there was a statement that was said that they found antifreeze in electronic cigarettes. Let me go ahead and clear this up. Uh, propylene glycol is used in, it's one component that's used in a non-toxic, non-toxic version of antifreeze. So they took antifreeze and they said, well, how can we make this non-toxic? Okay, oh, we'll use a safe compound like propylene glycol and we'll make it non-toxic. Okay, so that's the real story, folks. Uh, there's no antifreeze in electronic cigarettes. It's just that that one chemical was used because it's so safe to make a non-toxic version of antifreeze. So, you know, don't, don't get all weirded out by that statement if you had heard it in the media or in the press. So what I want to know is what do you guys think? Um, you've heard the facts, you've heard my opinion, but what about your opinion? Do you feel that we shouldn't be able to say that electronic cigarettes are safer than regular cigarettes? Do you think they aren't safer? Do you think we just don't know? Um, what are your thoughts? Use the comment form and tell me what you think. Also, don't forget to sign up to my email list to get updates from the PuffWeb blog.